Strategic Deception: How CCP Espionage Targeted High-Ranked Taiwan Military. Introduction. Welcome to the fascinating world of espionage and covert operations. In today's episode of Capture the Intelligence, we embark on a captivating journey to unravel the intricate web of espionage activities orchestrated by the Chinese Communist Party (CCP) against Taiwan's military and intelligence apparatus. From high-ranking officials to lower-tier operatives, the CCP. Its covert strategies have taken on various forms, employing tactics ranging from cultivating relationships through lavish banquets to the strategic placement of agents at different levels of Taiwan's defense hierarchy. In August 2022, Wood Media obtained intelligence and exposed the covert operations and potential uprising schemes conducted by the CCP against Taiwan. The revelations implicated some Chinese Air Force personnel, indicating a possible involvement. In an uprising, Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense responded by denying the allegations made by Lud Media, accusing them of spreading misinformation and asserting that such situations had never occurred before. CCP is intelligence apparatus, a complex network of deception. The CCP is intelligence apparatus operates through various lines, with the General Political Department Liaison Bureau falling under the CCP is Central Disciplinary Inspection Authority. Indicating a high level of hierarchy, the overall structure includes special operations units under the General Staff Department and the Guangzhou Liaison Office, functioning as a cover for foreign intelligence operations. Various types of special agents, including those from the General Staff Department, State Security, United Front, and Propaganda Departments, engage in activities with different objectives. The primary focus of the General Political Department Liaison Bureau's Special agents is to target military officers of the rank of major general and above. Their activities involve sophisticated disguises, such as posing as Hong Kong tycoons or representatives of shipping conglomerates, employing tactics like banquet invitations, and gradually establishing contacts with high-ranking Taiwanese officials. Infiltration tactics, a multifaceted approach to deception. The CCP's special agents utilize different countries, such as. Hong Kong and Japan as stepping stones in their covert operations, gradually infiltrating the targeted areas. Their modus operandi includes methods like banquet invitations, seeking marriages, and tourism, employing a long-term strategy to infiltrate and gain influence within the target domains. Legal consequences: a question of leniency. Court verdicts on retired officers Chen Yaodong and Wei Xinyi as alleged spies. According to revelations by the Liberty Times, retired. Officers Chen Yaodong and Wei Xinyi, initially lightly sentenced in the first trial as alleged spies, faced an increased and revised sentence of one year, four months, and two years, respectively. Hierarchical and reporting structure: the General Political Department (GPD), overseen by a direct senior ranking leader who also holds a position in the Central Military Commission (CMC), manages the reporting structure. The direct reporting of the General Political Liaison Department. To this high-ranking leader illustrates the hierarchical reporting arrangement at a top level. Selective recruitment and reporting emphasizes that lower-ranking individuals like lieutenants, junior captains, are not required to report directly to the head of the general political department. This indicates the direct involvement of high-ranking officials in more critical operations. Role and significance of lower-ranking operatives. The strategic importance of utilizing lower-ranking operatives. Such as Wen Jian is highlighted, marking them as scapegoats or expendable agents to create controversy and divert attention. Their low rank allows for easy abandonment when necessary. Case of Shen Shaibing and Chen Yaodong highlights the involvement of Shen Shaibing, former Air Force commander, and Chen Yaodong, both admitting their participation and revealing their connection to Chinese intelligence operations. Use of code words and tactics, activities like turning the lake are mentioned. As code words for secret discussions to avoid surveillance, this suggests that the Chinese Communist Party (CCP) employs various tactics, including multi-round discussions to ensure confidentiality and potentially threaten individuals. Infiltration through hospitable methods. The CCP's espionage tactics are as diverse as they are cunning, from using code words like "turning the lake" for secret discussions to employing hospitable methods like dinners and family. Trips.
equips the CCPMs to build relationships, manipulate targets, and potentially threaten individuals. The complexity of CCP secret operations is staggering, involving multiple departments, levels, and tactics. Their goal is to penetrate Taiwan's defenses and exert influence through various means, including social activities like golf and even attempts to recruit high-ranking personnel. The case of retired Air Force officer Chen Xin exemplifies the CCP's efforts. Invited to play golf in China, Chen Xin declined, while General Xin accepted. During the invitation, CCP agents suggested bringing skilled officers, particularly from the Huanpu Alumni Association, highlighting the CCP's attempts to leverage social gatherings for influence. In another instance, National Defense University President Shang Jiaping was summoned as a witness in the prosecution of individuals accused of espionage. Although later proven innocent, the mere mention of Shang's involvement attracted significant attention. The subsequent lenient sentencing of Chen Xiaodong and Wei Shaoni, despite their admissions of guilt, raised concerns about the legal consequences of espionage. The Taipei District Court's handling of the case and its transfer to the High Court further underscored the challenges in dealing with such sensitive matters. The legal system's effectiveness in safeguarding national security comes into question, potentially impacting future cases involving individuals accused of compromising the country's security. Espionage convictions often carry an ironic twist. Individuals involved may serve relatively short sentences and pay seemingly inconsequential fines for the CCP. These individuals might be hailed as heroes or martyrs in the future, adding a layer of dark humor to the situation. Financial motivations also play a role in espionage activities. Speculations about potential financial rewards from the CCP and the ultimate financial burden borne by Taiwan highlight the multifaceted strategies employed by the CCP to advance its objectives. Conclusion The intricate web of espionage activities detailed in this video sheds light on the CCP's multifaceted strategies to infiltrate Taiwan's military and intelligence sectors. The lenient sentencing of individuals involved in such activities raises serious questions about the effectiveness of legal measures in safeguarding national security. As we navigate the complex landscape of geopolitical tensions, it's crucial to stay informed and vigilant. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your network, and don't forget to obliterate that subscribe button. Your support keeps